Look closer. I'm telling you, the file is trash. The Constant doesn't so much burn his bridges as blow them up. Arthur Edwards, whoever he was, don't exist anymore. His personal data somehow deletes itself from any system that records him. Way beyond advanced. The partners spared no expense to make sure their controller would be untraceable. How untraceable? Look, I did what you asked, but Gray's gone and I'm no Diana. I'm not who you need right now. You gotta be kidding me. ICA? I used every encryption known to man. Who are these guys? The best. It's only a matter of time before they get lucky. We need to take them down. <sighs> you and which army? I know where the agency stores its files, mission reports, client data. If we leak it to the public. You want to whistleblow the ICA? It's the path of least resistance. Turns out, you are who I need right now, Olivia. I do this, and I'm out. So, what are we breaking into? Data facility in Chongqing, China. Run by a man called Hush. Of course. The ICA site in Chongqing houses the agency's data storage and analyst division. Needless to say, security is daunting. The state-of-the-art server vault is biometrically wired to the facility's two overseers. Imogen Royce, behavioral analysis pioneer, and Hush, a data security guru with a taste for fringe transhuman experimentation. Tell me about Hush. A former cyber terrorist for the Ministry of State Security in Kadanyang, who fled his country after one of the Po regime's periodic purges. He made a career doing cybersecurity for dark web deplorables. Human traffickers, organ harvesters, scum like him, with no code or conscience. ICA sure can pick him. No offense. Can you disable security? A dual authentication protocol ensures that any handling of data must be directly authorized by Hush and Royce. The proverbial human factor device to make the system impenetrable. Luckily, I found a loophole. If both overseers should unexpectedly die within a short space of time, the system reverts to a temporary fail-safe protocol, which I can bypass. Take them off the board, and you'll have free access to the data core. And I'll handle the rest. And you're sure it'll work? Look, I know, Hush. If I'm wrong, we won't live long enough to regret it. All right. I will leave you to prepare. Chongqing, China. This city is Big Brother's wet dream with more than 2.5 million cameras covering 15 million people. Privacy is a four-letter word in this place. It's pretty ironic that a cloak and dagger organization like the ICA keeps its most valuable secrets here. You'll find Hush conducting his fringe experiments in an abandoned apartment building. While Imogen Royce, the archivist, runs the day-to-day -day business of the ICA data facility. I just hope you know what you're doing, 47.
Ah, my knee is so sore. Like that. I fell over when the whole left woman suddenly jumped up right in front of me. I'm never be rich. Get the hell out of here. I got this flyer, and it says I can make a lot of money to be in some experiment. They don't want people like us for that sort of thing. No, they only want people like us. The flyer says so. That means it's too dangerous for rich people. Don't do it. Oh, I'm going. This is my chance. I just need to find out where it is. Uh, the flyer has a symbol I need to fly on the building. Yo, I'm gonna get an umbrella when I'm rich. And boots. Sit down, get a house. I'm never going out in the rain again. gonna be rich rich you hear then you won't look at me like I'm filled no you won't relax man I'm not looking at you I know what you're thinking <laughs> but who's gonna be on top then huh me I can buy shit food clothes I can take out your girl if I want to hey listen it's crazy to come. let it go why not yeah. I should get a girl, but I'm He's a crazy. A nice one. I'll scrub up, get real nice, get my hair done, get in with the right people. Chef out there, really uncomfortable. Jeez, no one's listening. I'm gonna head in and change into something more. I'll be in a sec. See you down. I love it. It makes me feel.
Let's get you out of the rain, shall we? We just need to frisk you first. Looking fine today, sir. If you want to pass through, I gotta pat you down. Yeah, let me take a look. Just like the movies, right? And you are good Follow to go, me. sir. Thank you. That smell. It's you. Oh, how can you stand it? Your clothes are so filthy, I can literally taste the stench. When did you last change your outfit? Seriously. I change my clothes all the time. Yeah, I bet you do. It's in there. Go take a seat. You understand. I'll get you and the other guys through the sign up. The above mentioned is part of the agreement when signed. And you waive all future rights to seek further compensation? Yes. Who would you like to benefit from the proceedings if you yourself are incapacitated? Would you excuse me? Oh, so Hush likes the last one I sent up to the top. He'll be the one to conclude this phase. I knew Hush would include him. He signed up for the full package. He's strong, too. I'll wrap up down here. Thanks, Julie. I was just informed that we don't need any more test subjects tonight. I don't understand. There's no work? Oh, no. There will be more to come. Depending on the results of the conclusion to this test phase, come back tomorrow, and we'll schedule a new spot for you. Come in and take a seat. I'm sorry to inform you that we have all the test subjects we'll need for tonight. But you're welcome to fill in your information now and come back tomorrow. A guard is waiting outside the door. He'll escort you out of the building when you're done. Help yourself to an apple. For your trouble. I do need my vitamins. I want you to escort the subject out of the building when he comes out. Understood. I hope to see you tomorrow. Okay, follow me. We don't need any more subjects today.
Doctor, 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 doctor. Enjoy your company. That's nice. Me too. Yeah, that last guy wouldn't shut up about the experiments. Had a thousand questions. An hour. Yeah, what are those experiments about? I, I overhear stuff, but I, I don't understand half of it. I control. You've got to be kidding. It is a little freaky, though. With those homeless people. Upstairs, I've seen my Not his mind, it's the machine. How are you feeling? Talks great to his brain. This is it. My big break. Why can't I just do it? This can't save my family. I need to think of my I... Ah! Damn it! Help! Anybody! I'm a professional. Don't worry.
Hey, get a load of Einstein over here. You know, I enjoy your company. That's nice. Me too. Yeah, that last guy wouldn't shut up about the experiment. An hour. <laughs> what are the experiments? I'm on. This is my chance. I can't do it. I can't. Join us for the experiment, then. You're done for now. We'll get Come started on. when Sister Lane is here. Where is he? There you are. Let's Hello. do this. He's ready for you, Hush. He looks strong. Good. A good specimen to conclude this phase. So, the test subject came to his senses, I see. Good. Sister Lei, yes. We're about to perform the final test of this project phase. That's him. Hush the bastard. Wow. He looks a lot older. One on one with Hush 47. Make Ready him when hurt. you are. Jin Li, let's start at 100% signal strength. No. I mean, no, there's no need. The subject is clean, cooperative. I was thinking 25% and then adjust if necessary. 60% is minimum. We'll get no motor control below, and I'm not wasting my time. But... 60. Log concluding experiment H109 initiated. Run calibration 60%. Signal strength 60% confirmed. H109 initiated. Load suggestion. Motor control. 44.1. Execute. The signal's too low. Shh. I need... The signal's too weak. We'll get nothing like this. Go to 100%? He's not safe. You've been working too hard. With your condition, it can cause you real physical harm. It's safe. You're strong. You can overcome it. 100%. Do it. Log. Continuing experiment H109. Run calibration 100%. Signal strength 100%. Confirm. H109 initiated. Now I'll see you do as I command. Identify impulse string. Load suggestion motor control. 44.1. Exit. Nothing. He is a strong one. Quiet. God damn it. Not again. It's too low. He's got spirit. I can get to him. Just need to focus. Abort! You're going too far. No. He's on the verge to break him. 
go higher. It'll kill him. It's already way beyond reasonable intensity. This subject is abnormally resistant. He's no match for the hush. Nothing worth shit ever came to be without pain. I am calling it quits, Hush. You need rest. Uh, okay, okay. A short break. Uh, I'll return with a clear head. God damn that assistant. If they'd up the signal, it will kill him. Stay here, okay? Don't even think about getting cold feet again, please. I'm here to the end. Evening, sir. Stand this level of incompetence. I'm going downstairs to see Sister Lay. I need some cheering up. Right. I'm so glad you decided to go ahead with it. You know, you're going to be a part of something truly amazing. He's a genius, Hush. And this is groundbreaking research. It's an honor, really. But um, he's under a lot of pressure these days, so if you could just go along with it, okay? Don't try to resist the impulses he sends. I don't want him to exert himself. Can you do that? I'll just follow my impulses. Um, that's not, uh... Okay, good, thanks. Jun Li. Never mind her. I'll take over. Let, let's pick it up where we left off, Sister Lei. At the same signal strength. Yes, 100%. I feel strong. I can take him. Sit down. Log, continuing experiment, H109. Run calibration, 100%. Signal strength, 100% confirmed. H109 initiated. Good. All good to go. Identify impulse strength. Load suggestion, motor control, 44.1. Execute. We need to go higher. Come on! Do this. Ugh. You'll get nowhere like this. I... Uh, don't understand. No one's ever resisted like this before. Let's increase the signal and get some results. What do you say, Hush? Do 120%. 120. Good. Let's do it.
Log. Continuing experiment H109. Run calibration 120%. H109 continued. 120% signal strength confirmed. Yes. This is it. It's all incredibly sharp. I feel my mind expanding. Identify impulse stream. Load suggestion. Motor control. 44.1. Execute. I... I feel power. I can... I'm not scared of you. I could... You got the bastard, Hush. Now go get Imogen Don't Royce and we can get to the core. Scare him away. He's having you on. Hush isn't reading mine. Rolling. Yeah. You still keeping up with those strut? Hey, mister. Right, so you can't pass by here. Why don't you try and figure that out?
Mr. Pritchard, I presume. Hi, I'm Chen Ting. Pleased to meet you. I'll be your guide on the facility tour. Spare me the pleasantries. I've had an awful flight. Nine hours delayed, luggage lost somewhere along the way, and the airline is trying to avoid their responsibility. I'm hungry and I'm tired, and I want to straighten everything out before I'm doing what. Yeah, so sorry about your flight. Just let me know when you're ready. Oh, did you bring the P-41 we left for you in the apartment? No. I wasn't informed that I should. Oh, very sorry, Mr. Pritchard. We need you to bring the P-41 to get the tour. It's procedure. Please pick it up before you come and find me. I'll be waiting by the stairs in the back of the restaurant kitchen. The VIP has access through the kitchen. I'll be waiting for him in the back. Understood. Hey, hurry up. The man is starving. Yes, I'll see to it. Mr. Pritchard, I've just learned that your plane will be delayed beyond the lifetime of the entry code you received for the facility. For your convenience, we've set up the new code to be 0118 to match the one for the apartment. I hope you enjoy your stay. Hi, Chen Ting here. Mr. Pritchard, I'm just calling to tell you to bring your P-41 for the facility tour. Thank you. Mr. Pritchard, I just read your report and share your concerns regarding facility leadership behavior. I fully back your decision to inspect and appreciate updates on your initial findings as they come in. Good job. Oh, you got new menus, I had no idea. Uh, you still have the... Sorry, but... Right, yeah. Uh, just some of those. So, do you... Oh, <laughs> Here. Yeah, so I'd like to get some soup dumplings. Right, sorry, yeah, with the crab. Uh, how about some of those? Wish I had something juicy for you. You smell nicer, but this is still too close. Evening.
Come on, Dan! Juno! Hey! Is that even yours? I'm just calling to tell you to bring your P41 for the facility tour. Thank you. Mr. Pritchard, I just read your report and share your concerns regarding facility leadership behavior. I fully back your decision to inspect, and I would appreciate updates on this traditional deal. findings as they come in. Dirty magazines under the bed. Stash a hard pen. I'm supposed to focus the when the kitchen feels like went straight to the restaurant. Find your inner zen. After the nine hour flight Close today. your eyes I'll give it and a tour focus your mind on the discretion bonus yeah. on the paycheck. That's what I do. That, there's a calming bonus. Here, Mr. Pritchard is in the restaurant. I don't know when he'll be ready for the tour, but I'll wait for him here. No, he's lost his luggage and wants to handle that first. Of course, I, I will. Thank you.
Hi, Oliver. I'm right in insisting our guest is the C41, right? Mm -hmm. Too close, man. Too close. I can't remember if I closed the smile on it, and I don't want it to be laying there in the VIP one. Yeah, well, I'm telling you to go have a look. Hey, you don't want me to mention your attitude to Royce, do you? Good. Oliver, I write an interesting I'll get to the C41. Call me when I am at work. I'm ready to inspect the facility now. Good. I hope you enjoyed the food. Did you bring the P-41 we left for you in the apartment? Yes. I have everything I need. Good. Let's continue the tour. Continue, you may say. We haven't even started the tour yet. But we have. Without you even noticing it, Mr. Pritchard. Invisibility is the best security there is. You see, the restaurant is in fact a front that lets all ICA personnel arrive un... Uh, what? You see, the restaurant is in fact a front that lets all ICA personnel arrive unseen. Who notices a dumpling cook on his way to work? Dressing the part takes you a long way. ICA guarantees absolute discretion to all clients. We take that promise very seriously, as you will see on all steps of the tour.
Let's step inside. Doesn't look like much, does it? Ms. Chen and visitor, welcome. Please report to security desk for visitor sign-in. Will do. I love the facility AI. It's really looking out for us. And we're in. The inside is a self-contained modular build that can be disassembled and removed in less than 12 hours if we are compromised. No trace we will ever hear. I agree. Leaving no trace behind is the only sensible MO. The outside shell is a building marked for demolition. We've put a hold on it with city planning. A deliberate misplacement of the order. But have people in place to rectify that. At first shift, city construction will move in. Hey. Our policy around ICA personnel is that they are a resource, but also a risk. On top of contractual yeah, repercussions if breaches occur, we perform detailed fire. vetting on everyone. The first, blunt vetting is a frisk. We have, of course, never had any employees trying to bring unauthorized weapons inside the facility, but we do consider the step important. I'll need to start the setup of your visitor security clearance here, Mr. Pritchard. Could I please have your P41? Thanks. I'll get the procedure started. It'll just be a few moments, so feel free to have a look around. I'll meet you on the other side of the frisk. Naturally, you'll have to be frisked like everyone else. No exceptions, Mr. Pritchard. Yo, man. Sorry, I just need to do a quick search if you want to get through. Just routine. This is just standard procedure. Just a formality. Thank you for your cooperation. Please continue. Please start the authentication process for top security clearance and engage the zero protocol. VIP? I'll get right on it. You're here. I've started the security clearance process. It will take a little while since you're covered by the Zero Protocol. All your data will be encrypted and inaccessible without your authorization. Only Facility AI will use it for ID analysis. Fully anonymized, of course. But we can go a few more steps on the tour while it's validating. ID analysis? What the hell does that mean? Give me a minute. I'll try to find out. Personnel is the greatest asset, but also the greatest risk of the ICA. The work we do here exerts high-level pressure on our employees, and there is no room for mistakes. We perform a daily, multi-layered, full-body scan to guarantee that no employee will act erratically because of PTSD or other mental issues, drug use, physical health issues, external pressure, or moral hesitancy. The scan only takes a few seconds. Come on, it's this way inside. I'm sorry, but we can't proceed beyond this room until your security clearance is finalized. So why don't you have a little look around while we wait, Mr. Pritchard? It should be here shortly. Shit. We need to intercept that 47. Or the facility. You can use your camera to hack that panel. Access granted. Good. I'm in. And you're safe. That was a close one. Perfect timing. 
Your clearance just came through. Let's continue. Let's step inside. So, as you see, we are very serious about security. What we protect is, after all, core to all ICA operations. We, and we alone, store all legal work, contracts, target profiles, employee files, contract documentation and validation, and so forth. Furthermore, we handle all current operations, effectuate logistics of personnel and equipment. Our analysts do the client vetting, target profiles, and of course, offer real-time contract support to handlers and operators. Storage and transmission of sensitive information like that takes constant vigilance to keep safe. We have a team of engineers solely dedicated to that task, and on top of that, we have a dual human authentication process set up. All access and alterations to the source are authenticated by Hush and Royce through their implants. I've... Oh, good. There she is. That's Imogen Royce. Hi, Imogen Royce. Quite the betch, apparently. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Nothing Likewise. wrong with her look, though. Edgy. After you. This is the Blast and EMP shielded call room, the nervous system of the ICA, where we store the past and facilitate the present. In general, only a handful of people can access this room. Hush and myself, plus bodyguards, and a chosen few of the engineers. I'm the most likely person to meet in here because I perform a regular physical check-in on the core console as a supplement to the remote authentication procedure. We have a strict routine of daily call maintenance. Part of that procedure is a flash process evaporating all biological matter in the room. You can see Reed through that window. It's her job to initiate the maintenance. Don't worry, we're safe as long as the safety mechanism is engaged. Even if Reed presses the button, the procedure will not happen until we leave the call room. The doors to the call room are all equipped with... You know what? Screw this tour. I know why you're really here. Cutting to the chase, I see. Knowledge is power. More importantly, knowledge is opportunity. Let me demonstrate. You have a sixth sense for irregularities. And although Hush's recent behavior has not been reported, it has no doubt brought you here. You do have authority to shut down unwanted efforts, but at heart, you are progressive and not the stickler everyone thinks you are. You have sway with the board, and as I see it, your opinion is now what decides my future and the future of the ICA. So here we go. Imagine this. Having a time schedule on a target with minute details on locations, durations, and purpose. A detailed layout of a target's actions within a defined time frame. That would transform a contract into a surgical dance of precision. No mess, no fuss, low cost. Just how I like it. I've been working on a prediction algorithm based on a combination of big data analysis and micro-targeted surveillance of defining target markers. And my results are astounding. All this state of the art is nothing but heavy old fashioned machinery compared to what I offer. Analysts preparing detailed files dedicating days, weeks to prepare our contracts, gone. Handlers and analysts supporting our operatives during missions, gone. Teams for cleanup and media manipulation in the rare case something unforeseen does happen, all of it, gone. I asked you to imagine that scenario. But what good is imagination when you can see it with your own eyes? I've set up a little demonstration for you. Hey there. Oh. Three employees, unaware Sorry. that I can accurately I predict their else. behavior. Firing them will result in an already clearly defined reaction. On the top left, we have Sharon Reed, who you saw downstairs. She is a dutiful and trusted employee. If she is to be fired, my algorithm predicts with a certainty of 97.8% that she will finish up her most important tasks before she leaves the building. Specifically, she will press the maintenance button within 11 seconds. Jeremy Bolt. The guard in the lower left is as tough as nails when on duty. But in private, he's a real mummy's boy. If fired, he will immediately call his mother 
and at her advice, seek out who he considers his best friend for support. My personal guard, as it stands. Me? Really? Well, that explains why he's always next to me at lunch. At the top right, you see Alicia Reynolds. Bright and very passionate about her job. However, also very possessive about her contribution. My prediction is that she will try to disable the work she has done for the ICA. If she's not allowed to enjoy her results, no one is. Specifically, that means she will try to enter the call room and disable the safety mechanism. I'll leave you to consider your choice of who you want me to use for the demonstration. Just let the guard outside the door know when you're ready, and I'll be right back. I will have a closer look. Maybe your project could play a part in the future of the ICA. Just let the guard outside the door know when you're ready, and I'll be right back. Oh, and if you decide to leave the room, a guard will escort you around. Safety protocol. Thought I'd just mention it. She really takes the term God complex to a whole new level. Sitting in there pulling the strings like that. I think you should take her setup and give it a spin, 47. I see potential if you time it right. Alicia Reynolds, I regret to inform you that Code 41 is now effective for your employment status. Thank you for your service. Oh, no, you don't. Not now. I will not accept this. Their mistake, no. Sharon Reed, I regret to inform you that Code 41 is now effective for your employment status. Thank you for your service. Jeremy Bolt, I regret to inform you. Thought I'd just mention it. She really takes the term God complex to a whole new level. Sitting in there pulling the strings like that. I think you should take her setup and give it a spin, 47. I see potential if you time it right. Jeremy Bolt, I regret to inform you that Code 41 is now effective for your employment status. Thank you for your service. What? That can't be right. Code 41 is confirmed effective for your employment status. Oh, God. This is not good. This is not good. Alicia Reynolds. I regret to inform you that Code 41 is now effective for your employment status. Thank you for your service. Friend? Oh, you mean Vincent? Yeah. Yeah, I'll go see him then. Okay, I'll call you later.
Sharon Reed. I regret to inform you that Code 41 is now effective for your employment status. Thank you for your service. Both targets down, good. Just give me a second, and I'm in. You can now access the core, 47. Okay, great. Oh, bad enough losing the job. I don't want to lose my best buddy, too. Don't mind me, sir. I'll be escorting you around. Procedure. This way, sir. Let me show you out. Up, sir. I have other duties. There's no way you're getting through that door 47. It only opens for people with an authentic security clearance. The signal is encrypted. Without a dongle, we can't hack it. Hey, you can't be here. Okay, great. Oh, bad enough losing the job. I don't want to lose my best buddy, too. Thank you. 
The new emitters for the Flash Heat Core maintenance are working like magic. So much faster than the previous system. I wish I had Sharon's job. She looks so poor. There's no way you're getting through that door, 47. It only opens for people with an authentic security clearance. The signal is encrypted. Without a dongle, we can't hack it. Good, you're alone. I'm sealing the room and dimming the windows, 47. No need to worry about intruders. Every hit the ICA ever sanctioned, enough to shut them down for good. But first you need to locate all files referencing Diana and yourself. I didn't realize that you... I don't know. I get why you want to protect her. So, wipe all the data referring to the two of you from their system before we publish the rest. Okay, good. I've set up a link to an information non-profit site. When you press that button, it's up there and the whole world will know. There's no undo 47. This will shut the ICA down for good. You really okay with this? It's who you've been for so long. Maybe it's time for a change. I'll just return things to normal. No need to alert them we were here prematurely. Shit, I missed that. We're blown for a second. I can hold the doors for a little while. Use the fence to get out. Go, now! All personnel, breach protocol initiated. This is bad. That means they'll shoot on sight. I'm gonna create some havoc, 47. Make the core meltdown. Maybe we'll divert their attention a bit. Warning, core overheating. Warning, core shut down. Temperature critical. Warning, fire detected. Protocol initiated. Command, I have nothing to report from my current location. Warning, core overheating.
Command area is all clear. Please advise, over. All personnel, breach protocol initiated. Command, quarter all clear. I'm sorry, you have to leave. We have a possible threat on our hands. No need to be alarmed. Command, you got nothing. Stand by. Warning, core overheating. That was tens, 47.
now to the data leak bombshell causing shockwaves across the world. The so-called ICA files. The disclosure of a... You win. So, what happens now? The ball's in your court, Miss Burnwood. I do have other candidates, you know. Most of whom have never tied me to a chair. You've seen the news. That was 47 acting on his own. He is untethered, he is unstoppable, and he cannot be bargained with. He will find you, Mr. Edwards, and I'm the only chance you've got. I'm listening. 47 has one weakness. Me.